Hi, everybody. It's Mark Rushton on markrushton.com. It's Thursday, January 20th, 2022. It's so cold out there. Sunny. It's like five degrees Fahrenheit. So much fun. What's it going to get to tonight? 10 below Fahrenheit. Ugh, that's terrible. This video is called Getting Back to Making Playlists. And uh, I, I got off the wagon for a few days there. I was not making playlists because I was so distracted with everything else. You know, I was so distracted with um, the VPN thing and trying to establish accounts on services overseas. And I ended up establishing an account on Angami and then also KK Box. I've not heard back from Resso yet. And um, so I, I transferred about 700 playlists to KK Box. I could not transfer anything to Angami because I could only transfer from Angami, not to Angami. Wait, just be patient. You'll be able to transfer to them eventually. Um, and then the issues with the uh, the internet around here and getting the new uh, the new modem that was a little bit of a time suck, a little bit of an en energy vampire. I I've, I've had to work. I'm done for the day, but that just a lot, just a lot going on, a lot going on, and then driving around and this and that and appointments and errands and all that sort of stuff. But I'm feeling good. That's good. But I'm, uh, I got away from making playlists. And as I always talk about on this channel, particularly for like musician, musicians who are publishing music uh, on digital distribution services, getting their music onto uh, streaming services, I, I always say that you should be making playlists every single day. Just make one. Just make one playlist every day. And if you don't have that much music, put other people's music in it that's like yours and just, you know, make a playlist. And then the next day, you can reorder it, new graphic, new title, new description, put some language translation in there. Because you know what? There's people in other parts of the world that don't speak English that might find it. They might find it. You never know. It's like sending all the, you know, here's the thing that I love. You know, when I was a, when I was a kid, I got, I got into amateur radio. I got my first amateur radio license when I was 12. I still have it. I haven't used it in decades, but I still have it. I still renew it every 10 years. But I, I just like the idea of like communicating from, from long distances, broadcasting, I guess. And so that's always kind of stuck with me. And that's so that same concept is, is what I employ with um, creating playlists, daily playlists, and then uh, f transferring them using services like SoundEase and Tune My Music to as many streaming services as possible. And the numbers are just going to grow with the ability to do that. I hope in the future, I hope these streaming services don't get all ridiculous and locked down and no, oh, you can't get on my API and all this sort of stuff. Remember about like uh, 2009, 2010, like everything interoperated back then, you know, for like Facebook and Twitter and this and that and something else. And of course, a lot of those companies got bought. But uh, but then you also had the things like, uh, you know, we're not going to let anybody on our, we're shutting down our API. And it was just like, the, all the things that made the internet fun were suddenly not fun anymore because I, who knows, too much cocaine. I have no idea. But, uh, but uh, again, but get back to the, <laughs> the little satellite, sending the little satellite, sending off little, always, I always say, you know, like when we send these little um, probes, out into like Mars, little robots and the helicopters and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, we should be doing that all the time, all the time. Let's send something to, let's send something to Jupiter. Let's, let's see if we can build something that'll handle Venus, right? Or Mercury for God's sakes. Uh, that'd be kind of fun. Um, I don't know. I just into, you know, the, when they sent the, uh, little, uh, submarine, the, the bathyscape down to the Challenger deep, you know, what was that? Seven, eight miles below the Pacific Ocean. James Cameron went down there, took a look around. Um, that stuff, you know, there's a lot to explore on this planet as well, right? Digging around in the uh, Ant Antarctic ice. That's I always, always like stuff like that. 
I don't know. But uh, but yeah, it's it's kind of the same concept. You just send these things out because as I always like to say, people are looking for the kind of music you're making. They're not looking for you. They're not necessarily looking for you. They're looking for the kind of music you make first. So if you understand that concept, then you can kind of build things regularly. That's part that's part of uh, you know your creative pursuit, I guess, or your creativity. It's not just making music and playing music and all that sort of stuff, but it's uh, getting people to find it. And the way to find it is not by getting interviewed in the newspaper or your local arts weekly or maybe not even getting on some podcast or something like that. Maybe, maybe not or whatever, but, but it's a, it's being available out there on those systems. There's people who are searching for things. They find you, they listen, maybe they don't listen long. Maybe they do like it. They save it as a bookmark. They go back and listen to it again. Who know? You have no idea. I released some music this week, some, uh, a couple of ambient tracks. And I put them onto existing playlists that do okay. And it's fun to see them have numbers, right? It's like, these are playlists that I have built and, 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 uh, what coordinated, um, curated, curated for, for years, in some cases, a couple of years, a few years, and they get likes and they get people listen to them for some reason, they've saved them, whatever. And uh, it's it, it's fun to be at that point now where I, I can do that sort of thing, where I can just take a brand new track, stick it into a playlist, and it it's uh, automatic for the people, right? <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's just, you know, I, yeah, like I said, I didn't make any playlists for three or four days there. And then last night I made a three, nothing special. Didn't make anything special. It was uh, just essentially rebrands. Uh, sent those out to 12 different services. They were about 110 tracks out of those three playlists. So they weren't long, hour and a half, two hours at the most. They're super easy and fast to uh, transfer. Today during the lunch hour, I somehow cranked out six, although some of them were um, language translation things. So you do one in English, and then you do one in a with a completely different foreign language title through uh through google translate i'm kind of curious how that's going to go over time i don't you know again you're building for the future you're sending these little robots and helicopters off to mars and beyond the you know beyond the uh, solar system see what happens it's it's the same sort of thing it's kind of fun i don't know uh so yeah today was six playlists 12 services and 201 tracks that was fun that was, they did not like to, they did not take very long to transfer. If you keep them uh, pretty short, they uh, transfer quickly. So that's good. I kind of feel renewed, energized. I don't know if I necessarily feel like making music just because it's so uh, cold. I got to go out of this tonight. I got to run the store. I know you run to the store every night. I got to get out of here. I've been working in this office all day long, and this cat is bothering me. She wants her. She wants her. Day. It's three twenty. It's 3.20 somewhere. So I'm going to go get this cat her, uh, what is it? Is it Frisky's pate? Or is it Nine Lives pate? I think it's Frisky's pate. She likes the pate. She'll eat the shreds too, but uh, sometimes the shreds don't agree with her. But the pate, we've always had good luck with the pate. She used to eat uh, Fancy Feast and until that just didn't. But then she's over on Frisky's now. And then at lunch, she always gets like a just a little bit of um, uh, a baked chicken. I, I, I bake a chicken and then kind of uh, crumble it up. And she knows she's going to get that. And it's ten thirty. She's knocking on the door. Hey, 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 hey! Where's my, where's my chicken? Where's my dinner? <laughs> That's it for today. Talk to you later. <laughs>